from head to toe. We're going to use handheld dumbbells, we're going to also use a mat and we're going to add in some cardio to this workout as well. So your cardio can be as high energy as you want it to be. I'm going to do my best to give you options of low intensity and higher intensity and I just want you to listen to your body and take it as you go through at your own pace. Okay, so make sure you've got a drink of water before you start and let's get going. So I want you to start off into a march, marching on the spot, swinging the arms from the shoulders, making sure you've got a bend in your elbows. So as you move, I want you to make sure you're standing nice and tall, shoulders back and down, making sure you've engaged across your abs as well. When you're ready, start to step side to side. So toes and hips facing forward, swinging the arms back and forth. So we're warming up the chest and the upper back at the same time. So remember, this is a warm up. So the idea is that we're just gradually building the heart rate up, gradually getting your body ready for your workout. So just take it at your own pace. When you're ready, bend your knee, lift your heel up behind. So working into that hamstring cuddle, warming up through the back of the thighs, keeping the arms going. Good, we're back to side steps, keeping the toes and hips facing forward, shoulders back, abs pulled in. Next, we're going to do a step and knee lift. So step and lift the knee, consciously tightening your stomach every time you lift your knee up. Tapping the hand onto the opposite knee if you can. Keep yourself tall, neck and shoulders relaxed. And we're back to side steps. Again, toes and hips facing forward, shoulders back. Good. Okay, I'd like you to take it into a march with nice high knees, swinging the arms, or up into a jog. So you pick the option whether you're happy to march or jog. Making sure the arms are moving, abs pulled in. So you're bringing the arm up, leg out to the side, shoulders back and down, abs tight. Going from one side and then the other. Good, okay, turn the shoulders, reach to the side, stretch your leg back, warming up your waist through the arms and into the legs. Trying to get your body moving in all the different directions. Two more, then come into the middle, push and pull with the arms and gradually step the legs back. You want to be leaning your body forward as you do this, warming up the abs. Again, checking through the chest and the back. Getting it nice and warm. Good, now stand up tall, tap the heel, cross the arms over, soft bend in your support and leg. Good, two more. Now we're back to half jacks. So this time, if you can, you're going to go through the sequence trying to pick a pace up a little bit. So going a little bit faster if you can if you're feeling suitably warm. This is an extension of the warm up. So remember, make sure you're nice and warm before you build up the pace. Good, turn the shoulders, reach to the side. Abs pulled in, shoulders back. Good, into the middle, push and pull with the arms, step the leg back. Good, stand tall, tap the heel, cross the arms over, bend 
again to support and lay. Good. Take it into march or jog again when you're ready. Now remember, you're holding on to the weights rather than letting the weights pull you down. So make sure you've got a soft bend in your elbows. Abs pulled in, chest up high when you're ready, drop down and up. So 30 seconds, keeping that chest high. Now it's more important that you're in a good position than how many you do. There's plenty of time to build it up and do more. Make sure your heels are down. Knees are behind your toes as you squat. Chest should always be higher than your hips. Keep going. Last one. Good. Now we're going for a bent over row. So, soft bend of the knees, leaning forward. Weights in line with the stomach. Row back and in. So you want to make sure that your spine's nice and long. You're squeezing through your shoulder blades. Making sure that your stomach's definitely working. Keep the weights close by your sides. Good. For three, two, one. Pop the weights down. Now we're into our cardio. So if you can, it's jumping jacks. Arms up, legs out. Easier option is that half jack that we did earlier. So you pick the option that's good for you. If you can jump it, Jump it. Make sure the heels are going down. Make sure your stomach's working. Arms right up. Bring those hands together if you can. Three, two, one. Well done. Pick up eight weights back up. Narrow squats again. As soon as you're ready, start to go. Belly button through to your spine. Shoulders back. Make sure that heels are down. Squeeze your bum each and every time you come up. Soft bend in your knees when you're at the top. Keep going. Three, two, one. Keep the feet in a good position. Lean right forward. Weights in line with the stomach. Roll it up. 30 seconds. From the side, that elbows are skimming past your sides. Your elbows and the weights are coming back behind you as opposed to up to the ceiling. Nice deep breaths. Keep going. Make sure the stomach's pulled right through. Three, two, one. We're back to jumping jacks. So really straighten those arms up. Make sure the heels are going down. Always make sure your stomach's working. Remember your easier option is that half jack. You can go at your own pace, remember. If you want to push yourself, build up the speed. Three, two, one. Good, right, third time lucky. Shoulders back, hold on to the weights, down and up. So third round, everything's a little bit more familiar means that you can start to focus on different parts of that technique. Really squeezing through the bum. Keeping that heels down. Focus on your abs. Three, two. Lean that body forward. Tilt the weight. Now row. When I speak about tilting the weights, it's tilting it up so that the weights come in line with your sides. Breathe. Lean your body over. Make sure your tailbone goes back. 
Belly button through to the spine. Keep going. Three, two, one. Good, right. Third time lucky, jumping jacks. Arms up. Feet out wide. Pick that speed up if you can. You've got a little breather after this one. Remember that options. One side at a time if you want. Heels going down, keep going. Three, two, one. Well done, grab a drink. First circuit done. Okay, next, grab your weights. Hold that weights in front of your abs. So, to take the tension out of your neck, I want your elbows to be pointing backwards and I want your arms to be nice and close to your body. Take your feet wider than shoulder width apart. If you need to for balance, you can turn your toes out. Abs in, shoulders back. When you're ready, down and up. Power of three again. Three exercises, three times through, 30 seconds. Keep that weight close to your body. Elbows pointing back. Belly button through to the spine. Keep going. Three, two, one. Bring the feet in, narrow, hip distance apart. Weights are up. So if you want to make this harder, weights go higher. If you want to make it a little bit easier on the neck, take the arms lower. But want your elbows to come in and out. In and out. So this is a pet deck. As if you were to do this in the gym, arms out and in. Squeezing across the shoulder blades as you go back, working the chest as you come in. You want to keep the wrists on top of the elbows and you want to try and bring those elbows in as closely as you can. Three, two, one. Pop the weights down. This time we're into butt kicks. So kicking the heels up, Making sure the arms are moving. Easier option, hamstring cuddle. Going at any speed you like. As long as your body's moving, I'm happy. Remember, you can take a drink, drink anytime you need. Three, two, one. We're back to squats. Grab your weights, have them close by your body, shoulders back, feet. Why turn the toes out. When you're ready, let's go. So no rest. We're going straight from one to the other. Squeeze through your bum, push through your heels. Keep that weight close to your body. Knees are behind your toes. So your tailbone's going back. Three, two, one. Bring the feet in hip distance, bring the arms up. Shoulders back, abs in, elbows in, and out. Pull your stomach through towards your back. Squeeze across that shoulder blade. There should be no tension through your neck. If there is, take the arms lower. Focus on the muscle groups that you're working. Come back into it. Three, two, one. Pop the weights down. Butt kicks. Heels right up, moving the arms. Easier option, one side at a time. If you're not breathing heavier right now, there's something wrong. You want to kind of keep that pace up, breathe. Good, grab the weights. Third time lucky, shoulders back, abs in, let's go. Down and up. Knees behind the toes, squeezing the bum all the time. Abs are pulled in, no tension through the neck. Keep going. Three, two, one, bring the feet in. Knees soft, stand tall, weights up, 
elbows in and out. So it's really important that you don't arch your back. Now that you're breathing a bit heavier, a little bit more tired, it's going to be more tempting to change your body position. I need you to make sure you're thinking about where you're working. Cross the chest, stomach, arms. Keep going. Three, two, one. Butt kicks. Weights down. Kick the heels up. Move that arms. Easier option, one side at a time. Just because you're not jumping doesn't mean you can't get the heart rate up. You just pick a pace up a bit more if you can. Good. Three, two, one. Well done. Circuit two is done. Grab a drink. Okay, grab your weight. Now we're on to the side leg lift. So, for this, you're standing on one foot. So you're gonna take the weights back up in line with your stomach, shoulders back, elbows pointing back. Transfer your body weight onto one side, soft bend in the knee. Opposite foot off the floor, heel push into the ground. Lift up and down. Now if you can, you're trying to do this without letting your foot touch the floor in between each one. If you need to reset and put it down, you can. Focus on pulling your stomach through towards your back. Nice deep breaths. <laughs> Keep going. Three, two, let's swap. Other side. Toes pointing forward. Working down the side of the leg into the side of the bum. You want to keep yourself as tall as you can, trying to avoid leaning your upper body over to the side. As always, it's your pace. Form over speed. Three, two, bring both feet back down to the floor. Arms by the side, shoulders back. Soft bend in the elbows, knees soft, abs in. Lift up. And down. So this is our lat raise. So this is working across the shoulders, down the arms. But I want you to be thinking about your posture. I want you to keep your chest open, shoulders back and down. So you don't want to be lifting using your neck. You want to use right round the shoulder and try and use that upper back a little bit if you can. Three, two, one. Pop the weights down. Now it's crossover, so arms up, opposite elbow to knee. Tightening your stomach, bringing your chest down. Easier option, no jumps. Focusing on crunching and using your abs each and every time you bend over. Bring that knee up, elbow down. Arms by your side to keep your posture open. Breathe. Three, two, one. Grab your weights again. Weights at the side, shoulders back, standing on one foot, out and in. Doesn't matter which side you start with, we're going to do both. Try not to let that foot touch the floor in between. By now, hopefully, you're going to feel it pulling into your sides as well. Your stomach should be working to keep that upper body nice and tall. Three, two, let's swap. Other side. Push the heel to the floor on that moving leg. Helps keep everything in line. Activates the muscles. Belly button through to your spine. Breathe. Good. Three. Two, one, feet back into the middle, shoulders back. Soft bend in the elbows, lift and lower. Now this is quite a challenging one, especially depending on what size of weight you've got. So remember, you can always modify. You can do one side at a time. So it's really important that you make sure that your body stays still in the center. 
If you can do both, do both. Shoulders back, abs in, knees soft. Three, two, one, cross over, pop your weights down, arms up, let's go, 30 seconds. So crunching the abs in between. Bring the chest down. Remember, you don't have to jump if you don't want to. Three, two, one. Well done. Grab that weight again. Shoulders back, arms at the side. Elbows are pointing backwards, toes pointing forward. Down the side of the leg, side of the bum. Focus on your stomach. Keep that hips pointing forward. Three, two, one. Other side. Focus on your stomach. Keep the weights close by your body. Remember, you can slow it down anytime you like. Keep going. Good. Three, two, one. Feet hip distance, shoulders back, weight to the side. Lift up and down. Abs pulled in. Relax your legs. Shoulders back and down. Keep going. Remember you can modify and do one side at a time if you prefer. Three, two, one. Pop the weights down. It's crossover, so arms up, elbow to knee. With or without the jumps, make sure that you're pulling your stomach in as you bring your chest down. Good, keep going. Three, two, one. Well done. Grab a drink. So, if you find lunges challenge your balance a little bit more than the other exercises that we've done, please do this one without weights. If you feel you can grab weight, grab weight. Same idea. 30 seconds, three exercises, three times through. Starting with lunges, feet hip distance, shoulders back, weights at the side. Step, drop the knee down, push off the front root, come back. You're then swapping to the other side. So, we're alternating lunges. One side, then the other. Now you want to keep your upper body as tall as you can. You're pushing your hips forward, squeezing your bum. Make sure that your stomach's as tight as you can. Nice deep breaths. Lunges is important that you're in a good position. So think about that downward movement with your knee. Good. Three, two, one. Come into the middle, weight to the side, feet hip distance, curl up and down. Turn in the weight so the palms are towards your thighs, turn to the round towards your shoulders. If you want to make this harder, try standing on one foot. Soft bend in the knees, hips forward. Nice deep breaths, remember. Good. Three, two, one. Right then, this one, ski jump. So feet together, jump over to one side. Jump, bring it to the other side. One side, then the other. Bend in your knees, feet going flat down. Easier option, side steps. As fast or as slow as you like. 
For this, make sure that you land soft. Both knees are bending, chest is high. Three, two, one. We're back to lunges. Grab your weight at the side. When you're ready, alternate it. Push that hips forward. Tighten up your abs. Knee only goes as far down that you can keep it in line with the hip. Using a mirror, mirror is quite a good idea for this one if you can. Slow and steady. Remember you can modify if you need to. Last one. Bring it in. We're curling up and down. Elbows by your side. Soft bend in the knee. Keep going. Elbows are by your sides. Working into the front of the arm. Challenging the balance. Three, two, one. Ski jumps if you can. So one side, then the other. 30 seconds. Remember, easier option is those side steps. Transferring the body weight still from one side to the other. You're just taking that explosive jump out. If you can jump it, jump it. Three, two, one. Good, right, let's go. Last round. Feet underneath the hip, shoulders back. Lunge and switch. Hips pointing forward, abs pulled in. Remember and slow it down if you're feeling tired. Abs are tight, hips are forward. Soft bend in the elbows. Good. Feet hip distance, curl up and down. This time if you want to make it challenging, glue the knees and feet together, drop it down into a soft knee bend or a slight squat. Use your inner thighs to keep those knees together. Shoulders back. Think about that nice open posture. Keep going. Three, two, one. Pop the weights down. Side to side. Jump in if you can. Chest up high. Modify if you need to. Just keep that body moving. Three, two, one. Well done. Grab a drink. Okay, guys, it's time to go down onto the floor. So, grab your mat. You're still going to need your weight as well. So, we're still going to do three exercises, 30 seconds as we go through. We're just going to swap the cardio element for some abs. So remember when you're working abs, it's definitely abs you should feel. So if you feel any discomfort in your lower back or into the front of the thighs, it's maybe just a sign your body's a little bit tired. You need to take a breather, readjust your position and come back into it when you're ready. I'd rather you stopped and started and felt it in the right places than push through and maybe hurt yourself. So first thing we're going to do is bridges. So bridges is for working your bum. So you want your knees and your feet hip distance apart. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor. You can do this with or without weights. If you want to use the weights, you're gonna have the weights up in line with your chest, shoulders back. Your stomach's gonna be tight, you're gonna squeeze your bum and you're gonna lift your hips up and then down. So your heels are gonna stay down into the floor. Your stomach's tight, we're lifting up and down for 30 seconds. Breathe. Pull your stomach in. Make sure you're squeezing both cheeks. Working on strengthening your bum helps relieve lower back pain. So a nice strong back. 
three, two, one. Take one weight, pop it to the side. Hold on to the weight with both hands. Take it so that it's over the top of your head. You're now going to bend your elbows, bring the weight down, then lift it up. So down and up. So you're just bending your elbows, your shoulders are staying still. If you want to make it harder, bring one leg up, or if you can, bring both legs up. Remember what we said, it's stomach you should feel, not your back. So if you need to bring those knees in a little bit closer, do it. Three, two, one. Pop the weights down to the side. Shoulders up when you're ready, elbow to knee. Runner's crunch, so you're going one side, then the other. Swapping sides, keeping the feet high to keep that lower back down. Turn the shoulders, focus on pulling the abs in. Good. Three, two, one. We're back to bridges. Drop the feet down, weights up if you can. Remember, you don't have to use the weights if you don't want to. Hips up and down. So it's still 30 seconds. We're still trying to have minimal rest between each exercise. By now you're hopefully going to start getting your breath back a little bit. Working on the strength. Make sure that abs are working. Three, two, one, pop one weight down. Hold on to the weight with both hands. Bring your legs up if you can. Bend the elbows and back. Elbows pointing forward. So this is for working the backs of your arms. So into the triceps. We're also working abs and shoulder stabilization a bit as well. Keep going. Pull that stomach through to your back. Make sure your back is touching the mat all the way through. Three, two, one. Pop the weight down, shoulders up, opposite. Elbow to knee. Turn the shoulders, elbow to knee. Works right across the waist, right through the stomach. Good for working the legs as well. Keep going. Three, two, one. Last time. Grab the weights, hold them up, abs tight, let's bridge, and down. So squeeze the bum. Nice deep breaths, belly button through to your spine. Good, pop that weight down, hold on to the ends of the weight, legs up, bend the elbows, bring it up. So the weight should go towards the top of your head, above your forehead, elbows pointing forward, focus on your abs. Almost there. Good, three, two, one, pop the weight down. When you're ready, runner's crunch. Keep going. One, bend the knees, shoulders down, one leg down, then the other, and relax. Well done. We're into the cool down. Well done, guys. If you want to grab yourself a drink, take a drink. We're going to do our stretches lying down on the floor since we're already here. So, when you're ready, lie back, pop one leg up into the air. Take both hands and wrap it around the back of your hamstring, trying to make sure your knee is as straight as you can. You may want to use a pillow or something to support your head if you feel your neck's getting quite tense as you do this. Pull the leg a little bit closer towards you so you've got a slightly deeper stretch and then push your heel to the roof. 
getting a stretch down into your calf. Slide your opposite leg along the floor, trying to keep your lower back down. Bend both knees, place that foot over your opposite knee or thigh, wrap your hands round the back of the hamstring, foot off the floor, pulling your knee in towards your chest. Ease off, unravel, pop that leg up, straighten out through the knee, heel to the ceiling. Slide your opposite leg along the floor, keeping your lower back down. Bend both knees, place that foot over the opposite near thigh, wrap the hands around the back, pull your knee in towards your chest. And relax, unravel. Lengthen your legs along the mat, roll over onto your front, support your head with your forearm, take your free hand, take a hold of your foot or your ankle, knees together and push your hips down into the floor. Ease off and swap to the other side. Ease off and sit yourself back into child's pose. So knees and feet hip distance, upper body relaxed, arms extended ahead or behind. Come up into a comfortable kneeling or seated position. Sit up nice and tall, roll your shoulders back, place your hands on the base of your back, keeping your chest up nice and high, encourage your elbows to come together. Relax, roll forward, hands together, slight bend, push your hands away, drop your head down. And relax. And that's you, thank you very much, well done.